Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Maduri here. I'm an SAP architect and in this session, I'm going to discuss a couple of questions which are for preparation on SAP S4 HANA ABAP and this is a quiz one. This would be applicable for interview preparation as well as it will be helpful for you a lot in the certification preparation as well. And uh, we, we can we can also upgrade our skills from ABAP to HANA ABAP and we we, we will know what exactly are the different things uh, which will be uh, you know involved in SAP HANA ABAP which are not there in the SAP ABAP. Okay, let's move on to the questions and answers here. So what are what all are the steps to perform to enable type ahead for an input field on a screen? There are three correct answers. We need to choose all the three. A. Check prerequisites. B. Identify elementary search help. C. Switch on proposal search for input fields. D. Process on all the input fields. E. Automatic updates of all the input fields. Okay. So I'd suggest you to go ahead and be ready with a pen and paper and then start writing your uh, right answers. Then you can cross check with the, with, the, with the right answers in the next screen. Okay. In the next slide, we are going to see what are the right answers here. So the right answers are A, B and C. Uh, what are all the steps to perform to enable type ahead for an input field on a screen? A, check prerequisites. B, identify elementary search help. And C, switch on proposal search for input fields. Second question, which task can you perform with the SQL performance tuning work list tool SWLT? So we have to choose the correct answer. A, create a graph comparing the runtimes of ABAP code before and after optimization, combine information from static ABAP code scans with runtime data from the SQL monitor, combine C, combine information from the static ABAP code scans with runtime data from the SQL trace tool, D, estimate the new total runtime of optimized code. The answer is B. B, combine information from static ABAP code scans with runtime data from the SQL monitor. Third question, when are, when are referential joins executed in analytical views? We have to choose the right answer. A, when fields are selected. B, when fields from both the tables are requested. C, when fields are optimized. D, when all the tables are optimized. Answer is B, when fields from both the tables are requested. Fourth question, name the views that are available to administer and monitor one or several SAP HANA systems. There are two correct answers for this. We have to choose both the, uh, both the right answers. A, the system monitor view. The B, the administration view. C, the security view. D, the landscape view. The answers are A and B. A, the system monitor view and B, the administration view. A fifth question is you can you create a check variant in the code inspector which includes the check search problematic select select star statements SAP HANA is used as the database in the check parameters which value would you use for the percentage of fields that are effectively used there are four four options here we have to choose one a a lower value than a traditional row store uh, only based database B, the same value as on a traditional row store only based database. C, a value that you calculate based on the number of tables. D, a higher value than a traditional row store only based database. The answer, the right answer is A, a lower value than, uh, than, uh, than on a traditional row, row store only based database. Sixth question, what are the steps that are supported? Several tools which in total result in a guided performance optimization. There are two right answers for this. Let's see what are the right, what are the right answers. First, let's see the options. A, tools analyzing performance at runtime to determine if critical constructs. B, a new tool called SQL monitor to determine the priority if, uh, if different programs access the database intensively. A selection code, C, selection code inspector SCI and a back test cockpit ATC to to locate potential functional and performance issues. D, the ABAP trace SAT and the ABAP profiling perspective to measure and compare runtime consumptions. The answers are A and B. A, tools analyzing performance at runtime to determine if uh, critical constructs. B, a new tool called SQL, SQL monitor to determine the priority if different programs access the database intensively. 
Seventh, how to create a core data services view? There are three correct answers for this question. So A, use, use data services tools for updates. B, use the ABAP development tools for SAP NetWeaver. C, use DDL statement, define view and SQL like syntax to define the view. D, use additional annotations, uh, mark with the sign at the rate sign. E, use SQL capabilities for NetWeaver. The answers are B, C and D. B, use the ABAP uh, development tools for SAP NetWeaver. C, use DDL statements, define view and SQL like syntax to define the view. And D, use the additional annotations marked with the at the rate sign. What are the two layers of ABAP system interacts with its database? There are two right answers for this. So the A, the database independent interface. B, the database specific library. C, the client database interface. And D, the data storage interface. Answers are A and B, the database, in, data, database independent interface, and B, the database specific library. What are what all are the factors involved in, in working with ADT? There are three right answers for this. A, module interface, B, workbench programs, C, ABAP interface, D, ABAP programs, E, ABAP class. The answers are C, D, and E. So the factors involved in working with ADD e are uh, ABAP, C, ABAP interface, D, ABAP programs, E, ABAP class. What are the components of the enterprise procurement model demo scenarios? So there are three right answers for this. A, sales, B, stock, C, procurement, D, pro product, E, services. So answers are A, B and C, A, sales, B, stock and C, procurement. And 11th question, you are implementing an ABAP managed database procedures AMDPs for SAP HANA. What do you have to, what do you have to do if the, if the corresponding ABAP class, uh, ABAP class, the ABAP class. So please choose the right answer. So we have to have, uh, I mean like, it's basically, So the options are A, declare the ABAP class as a subclass of uh, CL underscore AMDP underscore runtime underscore HDB. B, implement the interface if underscore AMDP underscore marker underscore HDB. C, implement the ABAP AMDP underscore HDB event handler. Or get D, get the, get the visibility of the corresponding class methods in the declaration section to public. So the answer is D, implement the interface if underscore AMDP underscore marker underscore HDB. Twelfth question, you have defined the following SQL script procedure. Create procedure language SQL script, SQL uh, security define, definer reads, SQL data. Which type of database procedures can be called in this SQL script procedure? We have write on A, write only, B, read only, C, read and update, D, read, write. The answer is B, read only. 13, what are the supported joins in the CDS views? There are two right answers for this. So we need to select both, both the right answers. A, operators joined. B, user upper join. C, inner join. D, left outer join. So the answer are, answers are C and D, inner join and left outer join. 14th question, how SAP HANA supports SQL? There are three right answers for this. A as a data calculator, B as a means to define, C read, D manipulate, E transferring data. The answers are B, C and D. Uh, B as a means to define, C read, D manipulate data. Fifteenth question, discuss different types of engines associated with the SAP HANA architecture. There are two right answers for this question. So we have A, join engine, B, OLAP engine, C, analytical engine, and D, OPAX engine. So the answers are A and B, join engine and OLAP engine. Sixteenth question, which of the following are the performance recommendations when, when using SAP HANA? Uh, there are two correct answers for this question. So A, define indexes on the column that are used in the calculation. B, move data intensive calculations from the database to an application server. C, avoid transferring large result sets between database and the client applications. D, filter data in lower, lower layers. The answers are C and D, avoid transferring large result sets 
between database and the client applications. D. Filter data in lower layers. 17th question, the SAP HANA state-of-the-art search experience includes full-text search with advanced features like the three correct answers for this A. Fuzzy search B. Linguistic search C. Freestyle search D. Acid search or E. Isolation search The three right answers, the right answers are A, B and C So A. Fuzzy search B. Linguistic search and C. Freestyle search What are the steps involved in SAP HANA evolution? So there are three correct answers for this a. ABAP can access SAP HANA B. ABAP can run on SAP HANA C. Optimized ABAP on SAP HANA and D. ABAP applications on SAP HANA and ABAP E. ABAP as accelerated on SAP HANA The answers Okay, the answers, right answers are A, B and C ABAP A. ABAP on access ABAP can access SAP HANA B. ABAP can run on SAP HANA, C, optimized ABAP on SAP HANA. So 19th question, when using ABAP database connectivity AD, ADBC to issue native SQL calls to the database, which of the following methods of call CL underscore SQL underscore result is underscore uh, set retrieves the tabular result of the native SQL call. So the, 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 the questions, the, the options which we have is A, set underscore PREM underscore table. B get underscore metadata C next underscore package D set underscore P A R A. So the question the right answer is C next package. Twentieth, what are the benefits of using SQL monitor uh, transaction SQLM? There are two right answers for this question. So A it collects monitoring data asynchronously without additional database interaction. B it can be active in a production system with a minimal performance overhead c it displays the database execution plan for all sql statements d it schedules a back programs to monitor and log all database accesses so the answers are a and b it collects monitoring data asynchronously without additional database interaction b it can be active in a production system with a minimal performance overhead so 21st question so how will you select a preference for validation rules choose the correct uh, Answer. So we have A Windows SAP HANA preferences modeler validation rules or B Windows modeler preferences SAP HANA validation rules C Windows preferences SAP HANA modeler validation rules D Windows SAP HANA modeler preferences validation rules So the answer is C Windows preferences SAP HANA modeler validation rules So 22nd explain, explain the authorization concept and the types of privileges associated with it the three right answers for this so a system privileges b object privileges c analytical privileges d delta privileges e application privileges so the answers are a b and c system privileges a system privileges b object privileges and c analytical privileges these are the right answers so 23rd an analytical privilege consists of several restrictions what are they the, there are three right answers for this we need to choose all the three a analytical restrictions, B cube restrictions, C activity restrictions, D validity restrictions, E view restrictions. So the right answers are B, C and D cube restrictions, activity restrictions and D validity restrictions. 24th question, which of the following is not involved in database tables of the new ABAP SQL monitor architecture? A performance database data table, B selection data table, C runtime monitor data, D critical data table so answer is d critical data table 25th amdp can detect three types of syntax errors in the active or inactive source code what are the what are the uh, what are the three options there are three right answers for this a union union specific syntax errors d b database specific database platform syntax errors c database independent syntax errors d HANA specific syntax errors, E SQL syntax errors. The answer is answers are C, D, and E. Thanks for watching this session. I, I hope you enjoyed this uh, session on uh, SAP SQL HANA ABAP quiz. This will be very very much helpful for you for the job preparation as well as for the certification preparation as well as to upgrade your skills on SAP HANA ABAP. So for any kind of SAP Espo HANA trainings, you can contact us at info at the .com. 
and if you like our videos for more such videos do subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share